The love you watch, your listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on DMAPS. If you please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming here for the first time. If you are regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that others may still see what we do. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So we just learned that the Roman Catholic Church priest, Father Fidelis Mukono, has implored President Emerson Mnangagwa and the Triple C leader, Nelson Chamisa, the advocate to engage in one-on-one -on -one dialogue to unite the nation and move the country forward. Chamisa rejected in total the outcome of the recent presidential election after the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission declared the Mnangagwa the winner with 52.6% of the total votes. And while speaking in an interview with the local media house, Mukonoro said Chamisa should be courageous to concede defeat and engage Mnangagwa in dialogue rather than embark on street protests as it will lead to the killing of innocent people. The herald quoted Mukonori as saying, The one who says I am not satisfied and I believe the elections were not free and fair should also have the courage. It takes courage for someone to say, let us sit down and discuss. It takes wisdom, courage is wisdom. It is essential for the two to sit down and discuss. Discussions are more difficult than toy toying on the streets and it will get people killed. They are more difficult because they require thinking and it is an exercise that is no textbook and thinking requires someone who has to know how to think. In 2018, the military shot dead six people in Central Harare when MDC Alliance supporters took to the streets in protest of what they considered sex delay in announcing the results of the presidential election. Meanwhile, Mukonori stated that it is not too late for Munangagwa and Chamisa to engage in meaningful dialogue. He said that we need that humility. It is only a lawyer who is called an educated person, but there has to be a display to say, indeed, we are learned, and therefore let us sit down and discuss. I believe it is necessary. It is not too late to request the two sides, the winner and the loser, to say, please, can you sit down and discuss? There is a need for serious discussion. The SADC election observer mission on Zimbabwe's 2023 harmonized elections and other foreign observers said that the polls did not meet regional and international benchmarks to be deemed free and fair. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa last week said SADC heads of state will debate the contents of the SEOM's final report and also hear representations from Zimbabwe as well as the SEOM in trying to resolve the legitimacy crisis that is currently bedeviling Zimbabwe. So Father Mkonori is basically saying that Chamisa should just concede defeat and dialogue just for the sake of uniting the people and developing the country. Yet this assertion has been met by deep criticism from the generality of Zimbabweans who are saying that they need a free and fresh election and they are not taking anything else other than a free and fair election. We also how Father Mkonori seems like more close to President Emerson Mnangagwa as he was very instrumental in the 2017 coup, spearheading talks between the then president, former Robert Mugabe, may he still rest in peace, and the current president, Emerson Dambuzo Mnangagwa. So sources are saying that this is just another decoy to the people of Zimbabwe to shift their focus on what is impending a fresh election. Anokonika Mfaru, Tinwenyi, Honorable Madiva.